Hey folks, this is Kalani. We're going to be talking about the Crusader and the changes in 2.0.4. Now, we got quite a lot of changes, the most changes, in fact, out of all the classes. Now, what's kind of interesting is that they've upped most of our damage, to put it bluntly, and you're going to be a bit meatier for baseline. So, they didn't quite give us the 30% that monks and barbarians have, but they met us halfway and gave us 15% base damage reduction. So, you should be able to survive things that you couldn't survive for before, basically. Now, there's also been a few changes to abilities, as you would expect. So we'll go through them nice and orderly. For your primaries, or your generators, the single target ones, Punish and Justice, have had quite significant damage increases. So you'll find that your Punish hits quite a bit harder, and so does Justice. Which is pretty cool. Now, there's a few other little changes, like Sword of Justice now giving you 3% movement speed per stack instead of 2%. So I'd recommend actually going through the patch notes to look at specifics, but the general gist of things is that Justice, no matter what you're running it with, is higher damage. Now, the same goes for Punish. There haven't been any total reworks of any of the runes, so if you're using it before, it should work exactly the same, except it's doing more damage. Bear in mind that these are still limited to one target, unless you're using something like Justice and Burst, which gives it an AoE factor, or Crack, which allows it to hit two additional targets. Now, moving on, we've got our secondaries, or Wrath Spenders. Now, every single one, besides Blessed Hammer, so that's the other four, gained damage to their base which means that they're all going to hit harder regardless of what you were doing before. So, for example, Sweep Attack was 400%, has gone up to 440. Fist of the Heavens has gone up to 340, and 340 on the arcs that... Uh, the charged bolts that arc outwards, meaning that they're nice and in line with each other, which is really cool. Everything's pretty much had a damage increase, including some of the runes. I know one in particular is Shattering Throw. It splits into three small fragments fragments rather, that bounce between nearby enemies, dealing 333% weapon damage. Now, that's not noted on the rune, and that is a known bug. So I just thought I'd throw that one out there for, for you guys if you hadn't known of the bug. Now, Shield Bash, for example, Pound, now hits like a truck, which is fantastic. 740 weapon damage plus 500 shield block chance, which is fantastic. If you're wondering about Blessed Hammer, the only real change here is that Burning Wrath gained a damage increase, which is cool, cool, cool. Now, as we go through, not a great deal else was changed besides Steed Charge. Steed Charge, we'll get off that and go on here, is now 1.5 seconds, and the Endurance Rune specifically is up to, or rather down to, 2 seconds instead of 3. Now, the cooldown has been reduced baseline, which is really cool. Basically, it allows for the same amount of uptime, potentially more, but you're pressing the button more often, which is what Blizzard apparently want, which is cool. There have been high damage increases to a lot of other abilities. For example, Phalanx and pretty much all of its runes have been increased, so that might be worth another look in, which is really cool. Bowman, for example, is one of the strongest single target DPS abilities right now, um, for those five seconds, which is kind of cool. As we're looking through, I don't remember any other changes which are overly significant, except for Accurate's Champion Rally has had its functionality, I guess, fixed, so it now works with Condemn. And Heaven's Fury, Fires of Heaven, what was my favourite Wrath Spender, uh, has been nerfed by approximately, well, more or less 200% weapon damage, which is kind of kind of a, a nice chunk out of its damage. I uh, don't think I'll be using Fires of Heaven again unless I'm using it with the Fate of the Fell Flail, so that's worth noting. Now, obviously this means that a few other builds kind of come into play, which is really cool. I mean, buffing pretty much everything across the board means everything becomes so much more viable, which is fantastic, which is really cool. One thing that I recommend looking at is Fist of the Heavens and Divine Well. This has been changed to increase the damage of the zaps by... 
uh, or up to 80% rather from 14 and even increased the yards from 12 to 18 so it does a lot more damage with the zaps and it does it at a larger range which is really cool and it's holy damage instead of lightning so you can happily work that into a holy build now if you're wondering about any kind of synergies that are working nicely pretty much anything from before except if you're for example using Fist of the Heavens instead of Heaven's Fury Heaven's Fury was incredibly expensive at 40 wrath each which encouraged people to use Laws of Valor Unstoppable Force. Now while Unstoppable Force is still a really good rune this allows you to open things up if you are using Heavens of Fury and this before simply because of that cost. So for example I've now got Steed Charge on there with pretty much everything else that I was using. I'm using Justice with Crack because the range seems to be fantastic and the damage is really really nice when compared to Smite both in damage and range aspects. It's just really cool. Uh, a few things open up for you which is really nice. For example Iron Maiden has been buffed through the roof um, which is actually getting a rework potentially in the near future so I wouldn't I wouldn't make a thorns build directly reliant on Iron Maiden right now because there was a bug with that and it did allow you to kill tier 6 mobs in like 2 seconds but thankfully that's been hotfixed so no need to worry about that if you missed it you might be a little disappointed but either way so there have been buffs throughout uh, and changes for example Lord Commander is no longer set times shaved off of cooldowns. It's now cooldown reduction itself which could actually be potentially problematic because we don't know how this will interact with cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction in case you aren't aware has quite severe diminishing returns meaning that when you get to 20% 10% is actually about 6 or 7% which is kind of ridiculous uh, and if it's working differently to mean that bombardment is now on a longer cooldown with the same amount of cooldown reduction that you have that would be a little bit annoying but it still seems worth taking if you're running bombardment specifically so I think that's pretty much everything that was a major point of Crusader essentially we should be harder to kill now and we should be doing a lot more damage with practically whatever setup we're running but if you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you. In the description, you'll find a link to the patch notes themselves if you want to check out anything in detail. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave. And if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. But thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun. And as always, I will see you next time.